No, not really, to be quite frank with you, because the regulator, the, the, the banking regulator, APRA, has really been tightening on the lending policies of the major banks. And Australia is very different to many other developed economies right around the world. The, the big four banks control about 80% of the entire mortgage market. So from a governance perspective, it is slightly more easier than other nations. And we haven't seen a loosening of credit criteria. In fact, we've seen tightening. And that's allowed the central bank to focus on its primary mandate, which is to target inflation. And today they've come out and not only said, not only said that inflation is towards the lower end of the band, but they've completely cut their forecast well below the band. So the market's reading this as Australia is in for a period of at least another one or two years of sub 2 to 3 per cent inflation, and that means the Reserve Bank can cut and probably will. Interesting. So macro pru, those measures, they've got teeth, they're doing their job, that's encouraging. If this is the start of an easing cycle, Peter, then uh, how does it change your approach to the local markets? Well, I think there's a reason why uh, inflation is weak. Uh, and I think that's the key point. The, the weakness in inflation uh, is probably not reflected in the GDP growth numbers. The GDP composition is probably not a full reflection of where the services economy is. And outside of the mining and energy space where Australia has traditionally been quite competitive in its, in its stock market exposure, there isn't too much excitement. So I think you have to be very, very specific in your stock selection. When you're investing for yield, uh, that yield needs to be stress tested. It can't be taken on face value because inflation is starting to, to, to come out of the economy. We had a negative inflation read. Uh, and so those dividends will be at risk. So you have to be extremely selective. And I think where you want to be at the moment from a stock picking perspective is in the smaller companies that are growing their market share and probably leverage to upside from technology. All right, so being the small caps. Uh, just a couple of questions on the currency, uh, Peter. Is the RBA trying to lean on the Aussie dollar to get it lower from a terms of trade uh, point of view to make it more competitive? And uh, how aggressively do we re-rate uh, the Aussie on the back of this interest rate cut? Well, I think just, just going off the price action right before I came in to, to speak to you today, it does look like the Aussie is at risk of breaking this up, upward trend that it's been in over the past couple of months. I think you will see the Australian dollar struggle. The only thing that can save the Aussie dollar from falling away and breaking out of this uptrend is a weak US jobs figure, and that comes out tonight. So the, the reciprocal of the relationship, the US dollar, uh, will really dictate where we go from here. But if it's the status quo for the US dollar and the market doesn't see any surprise, I definitely think that the Aussie will struggle to hang on to its recent gains. The Reserve Bank, it's, it's, it's quite a complicated time in Australia because we're going into an election, which is at the beginning of July. So in its June meeting, it'll be very wary. It has moved previously. In 2007, they did move in an election cycle. But I think if you want to draw uh, a circle around a date on a calendar, you're probably looking at the Reserve Bank moving again in August and that's going to weigh on the Australian dollar.